Hello, 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 and welcome back to Settlement Survival. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and this is not cool. Uh, thank you for the comment section for letting me know. That's not coal, that's iron ore. Of course it is, and that is stone. And I don't think you can find coal on the surface level. And that, I mean, that just makes good sense. Now, since we were last playing, our church is completed. And that means we should better be able to predict the apocalypses if we get someone working in here. But that means I'm going to have to steal a worker from somewhere else. Now, where are we going to steal a worker from? We did have a shortage of coal last winter, so not ideally from there. I mean, food is always kind of a source of a... It's a bit of a sore spot, isn't it, for everybody? So we might not want to take that. Plus, we didn't even manage to get this one open this year. That's not the worst thing. Fisher people, we've got... We've got a teacher. What do we have? Chop some working the chopping house. Ah! Okay. So our wood is going to be going down, but they're going to be getting us fuel here. And you're getting us fuel here. So maybe we... Do take one person from here because just because we are turning the wood also into fuel. Okay, good. Hopefully she gets really good as working as a cleric and then she can help everybody be happier but also predict those apocalypses when they come. Because we did have two, I think last episode, and uh, they ended up being nothing, which was absolutely fine. And our very first one was not a big deal either. It just helped us grow more crops. So it's actually, I think it's kind of been our saving grace here in Nuo Potatoes because yeah food was a major problem but now it seems to be kind of going all right everyone seems to have food i mean look at you guys all of you living in here you've got so much food 118 you're gonna be sort of oh. um braxton and brooke you should probably get some food i mean you're a hunter and you're the vendor so just bring some home would you there's food in here just carry some home to make sure that you guys are all right that would be very good i think everybody's got food look you guys have such a variety in there that's nice Oh, good. And so do you guys. Okay, lots of lots of things happening here. Three students. That's good. Everyone's going to be ticking along in there. Now, we do have a lot of tech points to spend. And I really want to get the... Not that. <laughs> I really want to get the knitting going so we can start building some ropes and fishnets. Because that's going to really help with fishing and being more productive over here. So... I think that's the idea. We're gonna have to take the clay one. Which one's that? That's sand mining, because we need clay. So we're gonna have to activate that one. And then processing, we're gonna need knitting. And in agriculture, we need reeds. Oh, and then we're gonna need fishing nets. We don't have the tech points for that yet, but we need to get all these other things kind of going, and then we can take fish nets. Then we can also get some fish ponds. With It has a better output, so that could be something to work towards in the future. But now we've got a few new things here. Now we're not going to be able to put people working in them right now because we just don't have the people to do it. But it's something to look forward to, right? <laughs> something to look forward to, something we can work towards. Let's put this right next to the bridge. Because there's a house there, so the workers could be kind of close. We're going to need a sand pit as well. Now oh, that also has to be partially in the water. I don't think it has to be near this though, so maybe we'll stick it over here. We'll build a little road, we can build some houses over that way. That will be all right. And then the last thing is the knitting workshop, which would be good if it was near the reeds, because that's where they're going to be getting their resources from. If we put that over here, and then I think we just put a little road. Oh no, there's no room for a road. Oh no, there is. Okay, sorry, my bad. <laughs> there's space for a road right there. Excellent. So that means that can all get built eventually. I mean, are we gonna have the things we need? No. We need this first before we can get the clay. And then we need this built before we can get the reeds. So it's a kind of an all knock on effect. We might actually have some reeds stored away. Yeah, we do. Just from harvesting the land. So I think that's okay. Let's just take time on a little bit and see how we get on. It is July. And looks like they're already beginning the harvest here. Oh, it looks like we can begin to harvest this as well. I mean, we don't want to wait too long. We may have to steal a work. Actually, I might do that. Can you come over here for a little bit and just help? And we're going to start harvesting this. We just want to make sure it's all harvested before it gets too cold. Now, fuel reserves are low, but you guys are working away. And you should be working away. Although, are you going to run out of wood? No, we still have a good amount of wood. And it's a good amount of food. Water is like never... 
I feel like that should be something that should be really easy for us to store up, but it just never seems to be. But here we go. Look at all of that squash coming in. The output is going to be higher this year than it was last year, which is excellent news. Because last year we had enough food, you know, it was enough to sustain us. So this is going to be even better. There we go. Look, it's already ticked on past where it was last year. Uh oh, but they didn't get very much of this harvested. No, and we lost a bunch of it. Okay, so these can now be closed, which gives us tons of extra workers. So we're going to stick two of you back in there, I think. Should we stick someone else to help build? Hmm. Or actually, we've got a bit of flax now, so why don't you come work on that? You can make some clothes for now. You cut some stone. And you come and do the quarrying. And then I think we're, we're fairly covered there. The only thing is we've never actually managed to use this boiler room. <laughs> and you were very cold, so it would be nice if we had this boiler room up and running. But we, we don't, unfortunately. And we still don't have a dock, so we can't actually trade with this guy either. He's just going to go right on past us. Which is a shame. It looks like our happiness is ticking up a bit. Work efficiency is only minus 10%, so that's that's better than the food consumption also being up 10% and criminals appearing. It'd be nice if we could get it higher though and work efficiency being plus 10%. That would be ideal. Is that possible though? I'm, I'm not sure. The people of New Old Potatoes are freezing. <laughs> but they are hearty, you know? Look, a birth has occurred, so they're happy enough that, you know, they're still having children, bringing children into this harsh, harsh world. It's all good. It's all good. Let's see how this winter goes. Oh, no, wait, someone did die. Oh, of old age. Oh, well, that's all right then. I mean, that is... Oh, you know what we really need then? We need... This is going to be really hurting their happiness. We need to get a... A cemetery. Where are we going to put it? Not too close. How about over here? This is where the rocks are anyways. Come build a cemetery over here. You need a lot of stone, but we can get some stone. I mean, someone is actually working in here now. Sadie is working away. Will she get a lot of stuff? No, probably not, but she is at least started. Oh, and look, this one's almost built. Our sand pit. Oh, well done, Paul. Well done. Oh, excellent. Okay, so we could be getting clay. That's what we need, because we need clay to build the reed farm. Now... We don't have anyone to actually work there. We'd have to steal from somewhere, and I just don't know if that's something we want to be doing at the moment. Fuel reserves are still low, but we're not freezing. Well, okay, two citizens are freezing. Okay, now five, but it, you know, it's ticking all over the place. But they just need to run home. When they go home and they can warm up, because I think the houses actually do have fuel. That is fine. Absolutely fine. Not a lot of fuel, to be fair, but a little bit. But they've got one little domestic fuel in there. Oh, now they've got four coal. Okay. They're all right. It's going to be fine. Still have lots of iron tools. Are we building iron tools at the moment? No, no one's working there. Okay, good, because we don't need it. Oh, we never put someone back in here. No one is collecting any dung. I mean, we're getting it from the alpacas, which is nice. And we're getting lots of alpaca meat. That is lovely. I think we're going to be surviving. And we are approaching the thriving, you know? I think we're getting there. Things are getting pretty good. We still have a lot of stone out and about in the corners that we are not currently getting. No one's come to get this. It would be great if they could come and discover these guys. It'd be nice if we could find actually some more animals. Oh, look! Bertrams went to school. Oh, that's nice. A new student. I can't even find my village. Where am I? I'm all lost. Turned around up here. <laughs> How many students do we have in here? Four. Ah, oh, that's nice. Four students and just five children. Our stone reserves are low, but at least we're getting stone. And it looks like they're almost just bringing it straight over here. She's managed to mine three. And we've got two in here. Oh, is this done as well? The knitting workshop is completed. We're going to be doing... Oh, I wonder if we should get some shoes. Would that make our people happy? I mean, we can't do... Fishing nets yet, yeah, anyways, we haven't researched it. Maybe we could do some shoes? I mean, I don't have anyone to work. Oh no, it's March, it's March, it's March. Pause time, because we need to get these open up again. Might hold off on flax for this year and maybe go for this instead. Right, we need workers. Who are we going to be beg, borrowing, and stealing from? I think we always go forward with the squash. Although we, look how much food we still have from last year. That is, things are, things are going, I think. 
Who else can we steal though? We don't even have anyone getting wood at the moment. That's, that is something else, isn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> um, who can we, we just, we do not have enough workers. We need more people. Oh my goodness. I mean, we can actually feed our people now. Just where are all of the workers at? I wonder if we take one out of here. We're getting meat from here anyway. So maybe Brooke come down and work over here. Right, we don't have anyone currently at the repair shop. You don't have any raw materials, so I think... How about you finish there? And why don't you just come over here and fell the trees? Look at all those trees. And we could really use the wood. And you are working on making some linen. I think that's fine. Oh no, output limit has reached. Ah, okay, so we just increase that a little bit. Here, make another few. And then we'll, we'll move her as well. She doesn't need to be doing that all day long. And same with this. I think we probably have enough clothes. We've got 34 actually there. So come out and you come help plant in here. And you know what? You as well. In the winter time, this is where we work. In the summertime, this is where we work. I think that makes the most sense. It's a seasonal job, really. The other thing is the repair shop should probably be a seasonal job as well. Oh, we've got one worker. Robert can come work over there. That's fine. Three people there, four people there. They're getting it planted. That should be just fine. All of the houses are quite... They have like at least families living in there. So we could, could build a new home. We've got, you know, five people living in here and you know, they just don't want to. They're not going to have children as long as they're living there. So it's not, it's not ideal. Oh, houses over here. <laughs> so let's build some more houses. Close to the school is nicer so that the children can go to school, but we also want some houses maybe here. Can't fit one there. Three new houses will be enough because there's only five people living here and some of them will be buddied up, I'm assuming. But you know what they say when you assume. Don't. <laughs> All right. Time is still ticking on. May has arrived. We had one new birth. That's good. And our builder is hard at work. An alpaca was found by a hunter. We don't want any more alpacas. We already have alpacas. Literally any other animal is what we want you to find. Any other animal. Anyone. There's tons to choose from. Just pick one. Glenda. Glenda the hunter finding alpacas. We already have alpacas. There's tons of alpacas around though. Those are all alpacas. Those are all alpacas. But this farm is full. We're actually like at the point of where we're slaughtering the animals. So we're getting tons of resources from them. It's all very, very good. Ooh, something on the horizon. Oh, yes. Immigrants are coming. They've reached this area. They're coming to our town. Oh, so good. Okay, good. I mean, we really want our population to reach 50 because then we get bonuses when we have a town administrator. That's what we really want. So maybe, what do we have now? 24, 28, 36. So we need 14 more. I don't think we're gonna, they're gonna bring 14, but we might have some births. Oh, look, see, one new birth in July. Well, and that's last season. So it's ticking up, it will be ticking up. Stone reserves are still low. Oh, and we need stone to build the houses too. So we actually really need that stone. We may have to get a few more people working in here. Now they're gonna build this probably before they put stone in those houses, which is not ideal. I wonder if we could, we could prioritize one of them. So then the stone should go there first. I mean, ideally we'd have some more workers in here, but I just don't know where all our workers are at. 24 doesn't seem like enough people. We need more. Ah, there's our new tech point acquired. That means we'd be able to unlock fishing nets. Let's do that. I mean, we need rope first, and currently they're not knitting rope. Well, currently they're not doing anything because nobody works here. It would be great if we could have somebody working there, but I just don't know where we'd steal someone from. Oh, the, it's almost the end of the season again. It right, looks like you guys are going to manage to do all of that. Maybe someone come over here and help them harvest this. Okay, this is almost done. So we're about to lose all of these crops. This one only has a tiny bit more to harvest. Get those last two out. Okay, now let's pause this because we can close these on up and that's going to give us a bunch of extra workers. Let's stick some in here, I think, for the season and someone in here. I think we'll also put someone in here knitting some, not juice, some ropes and then we'll Switch over to fishing nets once we have a bunch of ropes. And what was the, oh, the other thing we needed. Oh no, we have someone working in the repair shop. That's good. 
Definitely needed someone in the repair shop. Chopping house, textile mill. Mm, clothing shop I think we're good for. Hmm. All right, let's just keep one general labor. Oh no, actually, let, maybe we go in here. Brooke can go back to some dung collecting. Just because Maxine's going to be harvesting those trees, so we're not too worried about that. So let's uh, hit play again. Continue on. Oh, a giant tree has appeared. This area of land is unusually fertile, and perhaps that is why an unusual tree has grown on this spot. It seems that the surrounding trees are affected by its growth. Will you cut down the unusual tree or transplant it to another spot? So if we cut it down, we'll probably get tons of wood. But if we transplant it, then we might get better growth of things. So let's transplant it. Since this tree was transplanted to another location, the fertile, fertile soil was preserved. Seems like the trees in the settlement are growing more rapidly. Excellent. That's excellent news, I think. And we had, we still have spare tools. We can always put a worker in there if we needed to. Ooh, five births occurred last season. Our people are getting happy, I think. This is quite good. Now, it would be nice if this was done, but this house is done at least. We've only got two people now working in here. Oh, she's getting quite old, which is a bit concerning. I need our people to not just die of old age. That would be not great. So let's prioritize this house next. We're trying to get everyone out of here so that when the immigrants come, they can kind of be in here. And a new faith is going to school. That is so excellent. I'm so glad we have our school up and running. It's going to make all of our workers so much more effective and we're surviving another year oh and sherry has graduated from school so we've got our first graduate where are you going to go and work sherry what were the things i was just saying that we definitely need someone going to do that why don't you come and help with the stone Wow, oh, and myrna has also graduated that's excellent myrna come help out here or joshua i guess can come work out here they seem to just choose their jobs and just go wherever they want it's fine it's not a problem. Look at all of those children. 11 children now. They're going to be pushed through the education system, but in like a lovely supportive way, you know, not just like a pushing children through for the sake of pushing children through way. At least we hope. I don't know the quality of Silas's teaching. He could be lovely. He's giving a lecture to the students. I'm hopefully they're doing lots of other lovely things. He's very tired though. And I, I do understand the lack of stamina. <laughs> oh no, it's ticking down. Right, stone reserves are still low, but that's okay. We're getting houses built here. This one has no domestic fuel, but lots of food. Um, so they'll, they'll be all right with that. I am worried that more people are going to die and I don't want their happiness to be going down. I want them to have tombstones to be able to uh, to think about to the, their lost loved ones. Ooh, this is our bonus from our tree. Regeneration time for trees is reduced by 10% and will last three years. I mean, that would be good if we were cutting down trees. It would be good if we were taking advantage of that bonus. Or not really at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what happens. We just, we just don't have the people. Maybe let's grab Myrna from out of here and she can come work in here. So as we've got that bonus tree regeneration right now, it would be good to get a big stockpile of wood going. Because 189 is actually not that much wood. Look at all these textiles we have though. We've got linen and alpaca wool and leather just like coming out of our yin yangs now. Would be good if we were getting some ropes here. Oh, you're doing shoes actually. She's actually produced some shoes so people could be wearing shoes now. <gasps> How exciting. I mean, I do want her to change over to rope, but shoes is, that's good. I feel like people are gonna be happier if they've got shoes. I mean, they're just straw shoes. They're not fancy shoes, but still a shoe is a shoe, you know? I'd be rather, I'd rather wear shoe, like some sort of shoe rather than no shoes at all. Fuel reserves are low. People are a little bit cold. Bertram and Brynlin are cold inside of their houses. Perhaps go to work. Maybe the building at work is warmer. We've got the food though, which is sustaining them, which is excellent. We actually have Sherry working. We're actually getting clay and it's all coming over here to build our reed field, which is great because that's going to keep this going. 30 shoes total which actually should be almost enough for our whole population now march is upon us again so we need to beg borrow and steal some of these workers again to get these opened up oh it's a tough time of year trying to get enough workers to actually have oh no he's got a fractured foot well you know what if you work over here it's much closer 
to the doctors. So that could be helpful. I'm going to be cutting down a lot here. What other foods do we have? We could try growing some peas. Counts under beans. Let's, let's do that. Why not? This plant doesn't go in the season. Yes, because it hasn't ticked over for some reason. Um, keep that going there. I think we'll keep that. We just don't have very many workers, but we have a big stockpile of food now. We're actually not completely in the negatives constantly here. Let's tick time on again. We're getting closer to those immigrants arriving. Now, uh, they're not going to really arrive until like the end of the season, but that's okay because by the time they get here, maybe it'll be harvest or they'll just help eat all of our winter resources. <laughs> uh, but either way, they'll help come, you know, get some coal. Possibly even working in, in one of these buildings. Possibly just get all of them. If there's 10 of them, get them all to just chop down all these trees immediately and then see what happens after that. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. The fuel reserves are low. We're doing our best, though. Not still got the fractured foot. Someone is thirsty. They can just go and get some water. Though we don't have much water in reserve. Slash, we don't really have any water in reserve. Really need the output of this to be higher. I wonder if it would be worthwhile to build a second big well. Right next to the other one. So we have the two wells side by side. And that might be worthwhile because it's just never enough. All right, things seem to be going really well for the people of New Old Potatoes. Ooh, a caravan from the north passed by and their drinks were running out. They wanted to exchange their goods for some spirits. Oh, we don't have these spirits. Hardwood tools are strong and durable. You won't lose out in exchange. We can't because we don't have any beer. So very sorry, but you're going to have to uh, carry on. Now, things are going well for the people of New Old Potatoes. We seem to have, well, a dwindling stockpile of food, I suppose. But we do have people working the fields. So that is a bit concerning that the food seems to be mostly gone. There's 83 in here. I think they have lots in their houses, though. Uh, and we do have some new immigrants on the horizon. So I think we're I think we're doing well. I think we're working on look at that uptick of happiness. We've 69% happiness. That is fantastic. And that is it. We're out of video time for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've liked this video, Make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the new O Potato Settlement Survival. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.